about radio. Cheers guys. In actual fact, I don't drink. This is um, half a glass of water and what I've done is I've put a, uh, a table, no a teaspoonful of uh, pickling vinegar in it and uh, that's given a pH value of around 4 and that's equivalent to acid rain and what I want to do is uh, tip this onto the loading coil of the little antenna that I've made and just see what it does to the SWR. Never done it before, haven't done it yet, so uh, uh, the, next, uh, the next bit you're going to learn as much as I do, so we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm sure I'm going to regret this, but uh, this is the beam that you've seen in earlier videos. So that's the uh, loading coil at the far end, and this is the one closest to us, the one with the gamma tap on. I could have tested the other one, but anyway. Um, so that's the uh, the gamma. I've got some plastic to catch the uh, uh, the vinegar, and there's the vinegar. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll tip it on here. I'll just show you that connection there. It's a bit horrible. That's probably way out of focus. Uh, so there's an open connection there but I don't think that'll uh, that'll be a problem with uh, a bit of vinegar on it. Um, uh, so I don't think it'll short too far and if it does I'll blow it off. Okay I've um, got the computer set up um, I've got a marker here, the red marker is at uh, 3.9 meg, the blue marker is at 14.7 uh, meg and uh, the green marker in the middle and obviously the dip is the SWR and uh, the SWR and, that, and its frequency, minimum frequency is shown down there and I'll step away from the antenna so I'll step away from it, we'll get a reading, I'll hold that then I'll uh, pour the vinegar water on it and um, I'll step away from it again and see what it settles down to because as I uh, move oops, as I move backwards and forwards by the uh, the aerial so the SWR swings around so we'll just let that establish I'll stand back here and that looks to be level now I'm going to tip the vinegar over it hopefully you can see that in the mirror So that's soaking wet. It's uh, it's not dirty wet, but at least it's uh, it's soaking wet. So whatever we've seen now, uh, that should be the same. That's my body shouldn't be influencing it. So I hope that's interesting. What I'm doing now is I'm putting talcum powder on the uh, coil because I know that uh, the coil is going to get. Um, uh, dirty. So now I'll scoop up some of that vinegar. I'm getting talcum powder all over me. So uh, I've got some of that uh, vinegar uh, back in here, and I'll just tip that over it. So now that will actually hold the uh, the acid rain, as it were. Okay, and I'll just step back and uh, let that settle. Okay. So that's, uh, uh, that's it. Well, I hope you found that interesting, guys. Uh, I don't know what the results are until I get a, to look at the screen on the, uh, on the main computer when I edit it. Um, uh, so that's the, uh, the aerial coil now. So uh, it's, uh, it's dripping wet and uh, water is actually held on there. Um, so i uh, be interesting to see what those results are. But I know a cause like this hold the, the dirt. Um, so that's, uh, that's well saturated, that's, that's well wet. So hopefully that's uh, indicative of what would happen out in the real world. Anyway, I um, hope you found that interesting. I've been wanting to try that for some time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.